So, as it was previously mentioned, to switch from the active voice to the passive voice, we must conjugate verb to be in the same tense of the main verb. So, here I have a list of verb to be in most of the tenses that students are concerned with this year. Here we have simple present, simple past, present continues, present perfect, past continues, and past perfect, along with all the list of uh, models. So let's have another example here. And of course, as you can see, they're all plus past participle. What I mean by this PP, it's an acronym of past participle in all of the tenses. For example, the journalist has written some articles. So, this is a sentence in the active voice because the subject is active and we know who the doer of the action is. Some articles is the object. So let's switch from the active voice to the passive voice. Here we have some articles. And we have to complete the sentence in the passive voice. The verb here in the active voice is has written. As you can see, we have auxiliary has plus plus participle of verb write. So, to switch from the active voice to the passive voice, we have to conjugate verb to be in the same tense of this verb which is right. And as you can see here, this is present perfect. So what is verb to be in present perfect? We come back to the list and we'll look for present perfect. And here it is. Verb to be in present perfect is has been or have been. What's the difference between has and have? Of course, have is used for singular and have is used for plural. And it depends again on the subject pronouns. So, we go back to the sentence. Here we have some articles, which is in the plural form. So, we're going to use verb to be, which is plural, have been. We'll write it down, have been, plus past participle of the main verb in the active voice, which is write. And as it's already in present perfect, so we're going to use written. Again, by the journalist. And here we have the sentence in passive voice. Maybe we can have another example. Drivers must check their cars. Active voice, we switch to passive voice. Subject, verb, and object. We start with the object, cars. So, the verb here is must check using the model of obligation. We come back and look for verb to be in the list again. And of course, as we have must, it's in models. Here we have must. So, must, we copy or we rewrite the model verb again. So, if we have must, we rewrite must. If we have will or may or could or should, we rewrite them again. Of course, I said plus B plus plus participle. So here I have must plus B plus plus participle of verb check, which is regular verb checked. Again, by drivers. One more example. Tom is cleaning the room. So, as you can 
can see here, we have the continuous. And it's present continuous. So the verb is is cleaning. We conjugate verb to be in the tense of the main verb. And we look for the continuous. Is plus verb plus ing. So that's present continuous. Where we have is plus being ing of the continuous plus plus participle. We switch to the passive voice. The room is for singular or for plural. And here, as you can see, we have only one room. Is being plus past participle of the verb, which is a regular verb, is being claimed by Tom. So, this is the lesson of passive voice. I would like to thank you for your attention and I hope that it's all clear. Thank you very much. See you with another course.